What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. Today we are talking about roof seamers for mechanical lock profiles. A Little bit about what they are, why you should use one, and we're going to spotlight our partnership uh, with our awesome friends over at Quality Roof Seamers. Today I have Jeff Hawk from the Sheffield Metals Technical Department and Robert from Quality Roof Seamers. Thanks guys for being here. So Robert, let me start with you a little bit. Tell me what is a roof seamer and you know why you should use one. How is it used in metal roof installation? Well, it's basically a portable metal row forming machine that will mechanically seam together your male and female sections for standing seam roof panels. Reason for using it versus like a hand crimper would be for speed, more consistent seams, and just a overall better job. So without you know that tool, you'll you'll be literally hand seaming all those seams up and down the roof panels. Yeah, rather than crimping it at about six eight inches at a time, you prep the panel, lock the machine on, and let it roll about thirty five feet a minute. Gotcha. And how is a machine like that powered? How does it work? Uh, it runs off a of standard one ten. Um, we do you know tell people to have adequate power supplies. You need a good ten gauge cord because an inadequate power source will not let the seamer perform like it needs to. So sometimes that's an issue with jobs that they have to run three or 400 feet of cord out. So at that point, you might have to put a generator on the roof. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, uh, seamer companies. Why is it important to work with a good one? And kind of what is that relationship like between a good seamer company and a contractor installer? Well, I think what sets us apart is the fact that um, anybody here at my shop that answers the phone can help with the customers, whether it be troubleshooting, shipping, receiving, uh, questions about billing or anything like that. We cross train everybody here at our shop. You call here with a problem, whoever answers the phone can work the problem. We don't have to do, well, all right, let me take your name and number and somebody will get back with you. Time is money on the job site. So, you know, if we have a problem we can't resolve over the phone, a lot of times now with FaceTime, that really helps out. But if there's an issue we can't resolve, then we're going to overnight a replacement seamer to the job site. If then that second seamer is having the same issue, then we know we have to look further and see what's going on with the roof system. Tell me more about quality roof seamers and you know what you guys do. How do you come to market and, and how you work with people? All of our seamers are built in-house. Everything that we can control is made in America. I have a shop about 15 miles from my location here that machines all of my parts. So everything that we can do to keep everything made in this country, we do. So everything's built here in my shop. We do sell directly to contractors, builders, what have you. Um, rentals are $57 a business day. That's billed Monday through Friday. Customers pay for outbound shipping. We pay for return shipping. It comes with all the hand tools and everything necessary to go with it with one price. We work with people just like with Sheffield there with Jeff. I met him and Jim back in 2013 at MetalCon. Um, when they approached me about developing a seamer for their inch and inch and a half panel profiles, we service our seamers thoroughly and test them as, um, every time they come in, whether they've been out for a week or six months, they get the same level of service and then, uh, ready to go for the next job. Awesome. And tell me a little bit about, you know, what profiles they work with. You mentioned developing a, a seamer for some Sheffield metals profiles, but, uh, you know, tell me about that kind of lineup. Um, well, we, there's really not a profile we can't do. Um, we do all of the, the vertical leg panels from a one inch up to, I think probably a three inch high is the tallest we do. Um, then a variety of trapezoidal panels. Um, we cover pretty much everything in the market. Jeff, uh, tell me a little bit about how Sheffield works with quality roof seamers and kind of our relationship there. One of the great things about quality is that you know anytime anytime i call them somebody answers the phone so if i need to get a hold of somebody it happens you know either right then or at maximum that day yeah you know, when we first started the relationship with them we ended up having a problem on a project and it wasn't due to the seamer it was due to how things were installed they sent a representative out and on site and basically stayed there until the whole job was seen it was close to their location. I don't want to make it sound like they're going to send somebody out to your job site every time you have a problem, but it just showed not only the commitment to their business and what they do, but how much they care about the end user. And, you know, from that point on, it was like, these are my guys. They dial in all their, all their machines before they're sent out to make sure that they are appropriate for the panel that we're using on our projects. You know, we recommend them for all of our weather tight warranty jobs. So we know that 
99% of the time, if there's going to be a problem with the seaming process, it's not going to be the seamer, you know, um, instructions are very clear in their manuals. Like they said, they send out all the tools you need with it. So you get the hand seamer with it. Well, and, you know, as we all know, you know, if you've done mechanical seam jobs before, you can have the whole roof installed. It's beautiful. It's ready to go. And then you got to seam it. And if that seamer isn't right, it's going to cause you a world of hurt, you know, just because it could start chewing up seams if it's not dialed in properly. Um, you know, so that's why we, you know, one of the, one of the things we really value the relationship with them with is uh, we know if they have a quality roof seamer on the job site, you know, it's going to be right. And we're not going to have issues, at least with that portion of it. There might be user error involved but it's not going to be a seamer issue. Let's say I'm a contractor and I'm, you know, just starting to install mechanical lock profiles. Maybe I bought a roll former. Maybe I'm just getting into the business. Maybe I've installed nail strip panels in the past and I'm looking to add some, some things to my lineup. Robert, tell me a little bit about, you know, what should I know as an installer who's working with this equipment for the first time looking into mechanical lock profiles? Probably the biggest thing I can say is if you're going to start rolling the panels yourself as a on-site guy, um, Panel consistency is king. You got to make the panels correct and you got to make them correct every time. My seamers are only as good as the material they're running on and only as consistent. So, you know, if you have inconsistent panels, you're going to have inconsistent seams. I'll add, I'll add a couple of things to that. You know, if you're, if you're a new, if you're new to the mechanically seam world, you probably want to learn with some test panels on the ground before you start trying it on the roof. You just put on, get a feel for it, see how it locks on. You know, there's different ways you could do it with crimping the front edge if you're at the, uh, at the at the eve, or you could let the back stations hang off. You know, that's going to be completely different than how you might do it, say, if you're in a valley, you know, based on, you know, how much room you have. So you might need to double lock some of it with a hand seamer before you can actually lock the seamer on. Get some experience on the ground if it's your first time. Hopefully, if you're doing it, um, you know, you've had some installation experience before, Um you know, but if you haven't, or if you if you're concerned about an area, make a little mock up. It's it's a thousand times better to spend the time on the ground than it is to be replacing it on the roof. Seeming seeming a roof isn't usually high on anybody's priority list of like you don't have you don't really have people fighting for that job on site. Um, so if, if you're gonna have if you're gonna have somebody that might be newer on your crew, uh, make sure they're supervised because. You know, we've seen we've seen issues with, uh, you know, people not installing the seamer correctly and having problems and they got tenacity. They'll, you know, they'll, I'm going to get it on the next scene. I'm going to get it on the next scene. And next thing you know, you got a whole side of your roof that uh, is, is going to have to have some work done to it. And we have videos online as well that will that can aid in that, too, you know, for people that are not accustomed to it. Absolutely. It's like read different people learn different ways. You know, some people can read it and they'll be good, but some people got to visually see it. So the fact that, you know, they do have the videos is a great tool. And uh, like Robert said, technology, you get, I mean, look it up at the job site. You know, it's not, it's not like it, not like you have to go anywhere to get it. It's available. Robert, can your seamers do, you know, 180 degree seam in one pass? Or does it need multiple passes? Tell me about that process. 99% of the case, yes. We do it in a 180 seam in one pass. When we tend to want, prefer to do it in two passes is when we see a radius job. And just from a finish point of view, it's a safer way to, if you're doing a radius job, it's a lot safer to do it in two passes and not risk having the damage on the panels. It might take a little longer to get it seamed, but the end result is if you don't have to tear anything back off because it boogered up, then it's worth the extra time. You know, if you're doing one pass, uh, we always at Sheffield, we always recommend hand seaming the clips to 90 degrees just because you got that extra metal in there. Um, yep. So you hand seam it to 90 degrees to take some of that pressure off the seamer uh, when you go through and when it goes through and it does that single pass to a 180. And, and Jeff, it also does something to it. When you hand crimp it down in the middle of the run, it keeps the panels from separating so that the female panel doesn't lift up while we're trying to seam it as well. Um, what are some other things if I'm, you know, considering a different seaming company or I'm looking at renting or buying even, what else should I know as a contractor? Most of them are just trial by fire. You know, there's there's not that many of us out there that are full-blown rental companies such as ourselves. I think most of it just goes by reputation. Um, QRS has a, I think, has a very good reputation for our seamers and customer service in the industry. Um, and that pretty much takes care of it. 
say you're a contractor, you know, you do some mechanical scene work, but your bread and butter is snap lock systems. You know, you have the ability to rent it, you know, put it into the job cost without coming out of pocket for a full seamer uh, purchase. If you are doing a lot of mechanical scene work, the fact that you can rent it before you end up making a purchase, because let's face it, a seamer isn't a minuscule purchase. You can see what you're getting. It's like getting to test drive your new car, you know, for a month, you know, before you end up committed to buying it at yeah. a pretty, pretty economical rate. Yeah, that that was one of my questions was, you know, the difference between renting and buying. You know, how much does a, one of these seamers typically cost to be purchased flat out? Uh, our two inch double lock seamer, which is the five station machine Jeff referred to, is $14,250. And that's just for the seamer. That does not include a shipping case or hand crimpers. So it's a very significant investment versus a $57 a day rental Monday through Friday. Let me, let me add one thing in there too, just bullet point. The cases that these things get shipped in, they're all hard cases. They all have wheels. They're easy to move around, which is a huge deal because I've had seamers shipped to me and they come in the box that the seamer, you know, came in and it's, it's a two man lift. Some of these things are, you know, pretty substantial when it comes to weight. Yeah. The fact that it's in a, a Pelican type case with wheels and, and a, an extendable handle, um, especially for taller guys like me, I don't have to bend over while I'm rolling it. I can actually, you know, adjust it and move it around easily. So do you need a seamer for every type of profile that you want to run or, or install? How does that work? Well, we have seamers that are dedicated for like um, two inch mechanical, double lock. But that same machine, I can also adapt and change up for a three inch high trapezoidal panel. Um, so we probably have 10 different models of machines that cover pretty much everything. So we can you know, we have different setups built into them. Okay, so it depends on what profiles you're you're working with. That's correct. Yes, right. Yeah, if you if you have an inch and a half panel and you have a two inch panel, you're going to have two different seamers. All right, Jeff. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you very much for jumping on today's episode. Where can people find you online? Uh, QualityRoofSeamers.com. Um, just click on the manufacturers tab. It'll bring up all the manufacturers that we're affiliated with, and of course, um, Sheffield's right there in alphabetical order. Just click on their logo. It'll take you to the rental form for their products and you can send it in right from your phone or your computer. Well, thanks, Robert. You know, we really appreciate your partnership and I appreciate you jumping on this episode. Absolutely. We're um, happy to be partnered with you guys. Look forward to a long time to go. Absolutely. If you have any questions, comment down below. Check out qualityroofseamers.com for more information. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. And we'll catch you next time.